Hi, this is Red McNed, and here is my tutorial on building my version of the Iwo Jima Planet of the Flag Memorial. Uh, actually, let's, let's see if we can make this uh, nighttime, because I think it looks better at night. There we go. So this is my version of it. I'm going to give it a nice dramatic view from here. Um, I noticed that no one really tried to make this yet, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, the lighting is kind of my own thing, but I guess I could, since this is a tutorial video, I would like to show you how to make this. Um, I'll make it daytime again, so you can see all of it. So since the memorial is usually seen from the front, I didn't really know what to do from the side. So I just kind of guessed as best I could. Also, since there's like a bunch of people holding up a flag, you can't really get too detailed in Minecraft. But this is kind of like my best guess at like at what the side view is. But this is mostly made for the front view. I think most people see it from the front view anyways. So that's the version that I tried to emphasize, or that's the angle I tried to emphasize. So, without further ado, let's get started, and I'll show you how I built this. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start with the stone platform, since, well, that's that's what uh, I put it on. It, the platform's going to be three blocks tall, uh, and uh, nine by twenty-two. The long side is the side that's facing out. Uh, you'll see why I have the platform so big in a little bit, but it kind of accommodates for the space. The fact that it's a big, uh, a big thing, and I'm gonna put some light stuff in it. So it's gonna be this tall, and let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So that's how long it is. And, uh, let's see. That's going to be 9 this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And actually, I'll go ahead and and complete this first. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, make it a big old block. Okay, so here's the platform that I'm going to put it on. Uh, the reason why I have a platform is it it just looks nicer to kind of look up at it. It seem, If you want anything to seem bigger, just make it so that you're you have an upshot, as they call it in the biz, of it. Also, this could be basically anything. I made it like this sort of block thing, almost arbitrarily, but really, like if you have a mountain that you want to put it on top of, or like, I don't know, a raised hill, that works too. I'm marking the middle because that's where the center of the silhouette's going to be, and that's like, that. that is the primary focus of this. Uh, build is just getting that right. So now that we've made the platform let's uh, build the base of this thing. I'm gonna start in the middle so you're gonna go one two, th you're gonna leave three blank and the fourth one's where you're gonna start building. Okay I had to go get my uh, my guide for this really fast. My uh, graph paper that has this all mapped out. So just you know, kind of follow what I'm doing. Um, this is basically going to extend this this first row of blocks. I should just do this first. It's going to go until there's one, two, three left here. Uh, the last one's going to have a slab on top. And then this is a full one. So then we just connect all these back. And that's the first part. Um, 
Okay, I had a brain stupid for a second. So we're going to continue making the uh, stage, so to speak. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing again on both sides. Don't worry about filling it in or anything. And All right, so now let's do the other side. Oops. And it's going to be exactly the same. We're just making the base nice and wide. And uniform. Right now we're going to add the uh, outside of the design. So we're just going to sort of let the whole thing taper in. Um, if it's over here, my kind of rule is I'll put it here. It's like it's a whole block there, I'll put it there. It's a stairway step there, I'll put that there. And opposite here. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry. Now this part's a little different. It's going to be two blocks there and then three half slabs. Now we'll do it to the other side. So it's the stairway, two whole blocks, and three half slabs. And I'm starting to remember this. These aren't actually whole blocks. All right, so that's that's a mistake on my part. Sorry. These are supposed to be stairs. So now that that's done, we can actually start making the silhouette of this thing. So I'm going to, the reason why I have this uh, light here is so that it can help me be centered so that I can build this. So I'm going to be looking at my graph here. So if I, if I pause every so often, it's because I'm looking at my notes. So after going two, two of them are blank, then you have the stairs, upside down stairs, and the exact same thing again, stairs, upside down stairs. And that's the first level. Second level. Stairs upside down. Let's see stairs again. But this time a block. Then we're gonna have stairs. And another block stairs another block and upside down stairs here so I have to put a block here to make this work there we go I have to get rid of it so that's the uh, that's the next layer third layer stairs um, three blocks so one, two, three. There's gonna be a block here, upside down stairs. A half slab on top, a block, and upside down stairs. This next row is pretty easy, it's just a block. All these are gonna be a block. And then the next row is going to start with stairs, and it's going to be blocks again all the way until the stairs, not quite at the end, but just before the end. And then we're going to have five blocks on top of that. 
and then we're going to have a half slab stairs whole block half slab stairs now we get to go under the flag so this is going to be a filler piece right here just so I can make this work because it's going to be upside down stairs like that and then another piece of stairs I'm going to do this twice so it's going to be like that the flagpole is pretty interesting uh, to try to make in this <laughs> face this way I'm going to go ahead and put two blocks next to it. And a block above the middle one, steps here, and get on the other side to put steps here. That's the top of it. Now we're going to work our way down. This is going to be a block, and upside down stairs on the other side. Or whatever. Same thing, block, stairs, right side upstairs. And then these are both going to be upside down stairs and stairs. And there we go. That is the uh, silhouette. It's pretty close to that. Uh, I give it a little bit of uh, three-dimensionalness by this next step. So these are stairs I'll go ahead and put uh, fill in everything underneath with these, except for where there's holes. So, like this required a stair, so I'm going to do that. So, do that and that. You don't want to get rid of those uh, those little peep holes; those are good. So, you're going to keep filling it in like this. I'll put an upside down one here. That's like the guy's head and the guy's shoulder anyway. So stairs. Fill it in. Uh, I'm not worried too much about this because it's just some guy's leg. This is the guy on the end's leg. So what I will do is I'll just uh, fill in this because this next part of things in front anyway. It's an upside down. All right. And do the same thing on the other side. So three stairs. I'll fill it in. Keep the holes visible. slab and then two more stairs one right side up one upside down and there you go that's that's pretty much it if you want the lighting thing I'll do that right now too so I I like to hide the source of light whenever I can um, so my method is to put a torch two down and then put a trap door above it and then um, at night you get a nice glow from it and you know I think it seems more professional and plus that could be an electric light it doesn't have to be a torch so I'm gonna go ahead and disturb that bat <laughs> and put them all around. Like I'm going to put a uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, here, <laughs> here, here, here. So it's like three per side and then two uh, for each end. So I'm going to do that really fast. 
All right, so now you have the lights up, you have the base, you have the statue built. Hey, just in time for sunrise. Um, oh, that reminds me, if you if you build east to west, you get cool stuff like having the sun rise and set and the moon rise and set over your uh, your creations. You get a nice silhouette when you get stuff like this. Looks really cool. I think it looks really cool. But anyways, that's my build. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know if otherwise. And if you want, check out my other build tutorials.